Hi, I'm Derek Thorsland, Product Strategist at Citrix Systems for Multimedia Virtualization. Well, we're here today to learn about a new technology coming out of Project Apollo. We call this technology Accelerated Bitmap Remoting, and it's aimed primarily at high-end professional graphics and medical imaging. And this technology is soon to be released as a tech preview at the end of May. So I'm here today with Juan Rivera, our development manager, and we're going to find out a little bit more about Apollo Accelerated Bitmap Remoting. Now Juan, I know that we've been delivering bitmaps for a long time. Zen App and Zen Desktop both already have many optimizations for delivering bitmaps, such as speed screen progressive display, speed screen image acceleration, queuing and tossing, super caching. So, What's new and special about the Apollo Accelerated Bitmap Remoting technology? Well, what's, what's new about it is, is that now we can leverage the graphics processing unit of the server to render 3D ap applications much faster and deliver that content, the bitmap, using those same uh, optimizations that you just mentioned over the ICA protocol. Okay, so now we have a GPU in the data center. So that's pretty new. That's something, of course, we introduced with Virtual Design Studio our PICTOR technology for OpenGL graphics. Again, what's different about the Apollo technology that we're now researching? Yeah, so the Apollo technology is focused on DirectX and Direct3D. That's the underlying technology for Windows Vista and uh, many of the uh, CAD applications that we're targeting with the Apollo technology. Okay, now are there some advances with Vista in particular that benefit high-end professional graphics? Yes, absolutely. Vista is an ideal platform for running direct 3D applications. And uh, we've taken a lot of the advantages of the Aero desktop and the driver architecture to provide a much better, more efficient uh, way to deliver those applications across the ICU protocol. Okay, well, we look forward to seeing those, but first I want to understand a little bit about the hardware requirements. What do you need for uh, the host computer and for the client? So for the host, what we need is a machine with a GPU that rates uh, 4.5 or above on the Windows Experience Index if you're, meant, if you're trying to run a CAD application. Um, typically, that will be a $200, $300 GPU card. Okay. For the client, we, we basically work with uh, any standard um, ICA client uh, as you're basically using the standard ICA protocol for delivering the, the big mouse. Okay. Well, I think we're ready for some demos. I understand we're going to take a look at some computer-aided design applications as well as geospatial. So let's take a look. Okay. As you see, this is, uh, this is running uh, the session. It's a full Vista desktop running over ICA. And we're going to go in and look at Inventor first. So this is a, a, a model of a engine assembly. And as you can see, um, you know, I can I can use the the browser component here to kind of see the the model in different three D views. Um, you know, I can drag it and see that. As you can see, that the, the response is pretty responsive to my to my input. I can see move it around, and it follows me very quickly. This three D model is being rendered on the server using the GPU uh, through the Direct three D interface, and the resultant bitmap is sent over ICA to the client. So next I'm going to show you Revit. Revit is an architectural application from Autodesk as well. It's also 3D, direct 3D base. So in this case I have a, a you know, building model and I can um, you know, browse it around and, and you know, see the picture of you know, different details of the, of the building. Again, the 3D rendering has been done on the server by the GPU uh, through the directory interface and the bitmaps are sent um, over the wire. So Juan, what are the network requirements for this sort of technology? So for the tech preview, our target is the local uh, LAN environment, but um, you know we're doing further optimizations mainly because we want to reduce the amount of data we send across the wire to reduce the load on the server and the client, and also to support our goal of a DSL uh, connection. So. The current implementation is using the existing ICA client codex. Uh, as we move for, towards the, the next, uh, after the tech preview, we're going to be introducing new codec technology as well as caching technologies that will further improve the usage of bandwidth and get us to our goal of the DSL-like connection. Excellent. So uh, next I'll show you uh, Google Earth. So it's another directory 
application. As you see here, it's, it's a view of uh, Paris and the, the Eiffel Tower. You know, I can move it around. You know, again, this is all uh, done on the server, and as you see, it's very responsive to my input. It sure is. That looks really smooth. Yeah. See, I'm just doing a flyby now, where I can, you know, see the Google Earth generating a lot of content, a lot of uh, images, and 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 the IC protocol is able to to deliver those images efficiently to the client. And again, this is using the ICA client, the 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 10.2 ICA client. It's 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 not using new technology on the client. Um, as we move towards the, the, the uh, post tech the tech preview, we're going to be adding further improvements on the client that are going to uh, improve the, the the performance of of the this technology even further. Well, this is very exciting, Juan. Thanks very much for the demo today, and we sure look forward to getting our hands on the tech preview release at the end of May. Yes, thanks.